Welcome to Office 2013 video number two. In this video, we're going to talk about using Windows Explorer for file management. We're going to see how to create folders, rename folders and files, back up your files. We're going to talk about copy, move, delete files. We're going to learn an important mouse selection trick. We're going to talk about what happens if you drag files in Windows Explorer and how to compress folders. Now, I'm going to Oh, put my jump drive in, and I'm going to open up Windows Explorer. I already have Windows Explorer open. From our first video, you know the keyboard is Window E. Now, I have two jump drives. So I want to illustrate some basic file management, including backing stuff up. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our jump drive. Yesterday, we created some folders. If I um, select the triangle, you can expose the hierarchical structure of your system of folders over here. We did that yesterday, but I want to click just on the jump drive and come over here and create a new folder. Now, I have a new keyboard shortcut. Yesterday, I posted the video, and we used the keyboard Alt FWF. Now, that was fast, but someone at YouTube actually posted and says, ah, there's a better keyboard. So check this out. You can just have your drive selected. And if you want a new folder here, it's Control-Shift-N. And there I have my folder. I'm going to name this Business 216 Day 2, and I'm going to hit Enter. Right, now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to on the left. So I'm going to click on the one I want, and then I'm going to do something over here. I'm going to create some other new folders. Control-Shift-N. I'm going to call this Excel. Enter. Control-Shift-N. I'm going to call this Word. Enter. Now I want to create a Word file and an Excel file and save it. Now I'm going to come down to the taskbar, and I'm going to click on the blue W to open up Word. I have to resize this. All right, so I resized it. And then on the blank document, I'm going to click. And here, I'm going to show you something silly here, just to, to create some text. If you type equal R-A-N-D, open parentheses, close parentheses, and then Enter, oh, a bunch of text comes up. That's a trick that they put in here. So if you want to teach somebody how to do something, uh, it's a quick way to add some text. All right, now all I want to do is save this. We're going to use our keyboard from yesterday for Save As, F12. I'm immediately going to do 1, 2, 3. Where do you want to save it? I'm going to save it to my Lexar. I'm going to open up my triangles, go to Business 216 Day 2, and then inside of Word. I have the location. I want to highlight down here and call Day 2 Word File. The file extension, I'm going to select Keep the Default and click Save. One, two, three. Now, I'm going to close this. I'm going to use the X up in the corner. Or you can use the keyboard, which will close the active window, Alt F4. All right, now let's go back to Windows Explorer. On the left, I'm going to click on Business 216 Day 2. When I click on it on the left, I can see what's inside. Now I want to come over and use the triangle to open it. And now I want to click on Word. And sure enough, there's the file we created. Now, what if we wanted to rename this? We can use Windows Explorer to rename it. I simply click on it. The keyboard is F2, Day 2 Word File with Story. Enter. So I simply used F2 to put the name of the file in edit mode, and then type the name and hit Enter. That F2 will work on files or folders. Now what about copy? Can we use Windows Explorer to copy and paste? Sure we can. Now I actually want to copy this and paste it a bunch of times here, just so I have a big list of files. And I'm going to show you a couple important uh, tricks. So the keyboard for copy is Control-C. I've selected it, and now I Control-C. Now the keyboard for paste is not P, because Print is for P. Control P is print, but Control V is paste. Why V? Because it's right next to C. C is copy, V is paste. So I'm going to Control V. Now it said that there's a copy there, because you can't have two file names 
with the same name in the same folder. But watch this. I'm going to Control V a bunch of times. Control V, and then I hit V. Every time I hit V, I'm getting a new copy. V, V. All right. Now, what about backing up? We saw how to create a folder, how to rename, how to copy and paste. What about backing up? Well, that means that we copy the file and put it somewhere else. We're going to use copy and paste. But now, I want to put it on this other drive here. So I'm simply going to select the file I want, Control C, and then I'm going to come over on the left. And oops, I want to select, boop, boop. I'm going to use my scroll arrow or scroll bar. It's this jump drive right here. Now I just want to paste it right on the root, right on the drive here. So I'm going to Control V. So now I have this file in two locations. That's uh, backing up. Now, backing up sometimes means the whole folder with lots of files. So now I'm going to come over and click on my Lexar E. I'm going to copy this entire folder. So I'm going to select it and Control C. That Control C copies that folder, the folders inside, and the files inside. This is what you should be doing in this class. Later, we're going to have our system of folders with all of our class files. And you should be backing up. I back up every single day, have two USB drives. All right, so I'm going to Control C. I'm going to come over here, select the drive, and Control V. And there we go. It took a little while. If I come over here and expose on the left with my triangles, I can see, sure enough, it did. It got all the folders and the files. Now, what about cut? I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to, on the left, select my word. Uh, word. I'm going to actually cut this one. So not just the copy, I want to cut it, which means move it, and paste it on the desktop. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Control-X. Now notice, X, C, and V are all next to each other. These are the original keyboards way back at the beginning of computers. Control X is cut. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. I'm going to Control X and watch what happens. It gets grayed out. It's saying, hey, this is not copy. This is cut. I'm going to scroll up here. And I'm going to click on the desktop and Control V. So that file got moved. If I come back over here on the left and look, sure enough, it's not there. It got moved. So we can create folders. We can copy and paste. We can move. We can back up. We can even back up an entire folder. Now, what about deleting? I'm going to come over here. This number 8, I don't want it anymore. Now, here's a trick question. What's the keyboard for delete? All right, I heard all of you say it in unison. Yeah, yeah, it's the delete key. Now, we got to talk about something really important. Notice, I'm on a drive. In a moment, we're going to delete something from the desktop, which is our hard drive on our computer. There's a big difference between deleting from a drive and deleting from your computer. So let's just see what happens. If you read the dialog box, it will tell you. So I'm going to click on the word folder. I'm going to come over to number 8. And now I'm going to hit my use my keyboard shortcut for delete, the delete key. Now notice, what does it say? Delete file. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this? Permanently delete. Anytime you delete something from your jump drive, it's going to be permanent. I'm going to say yes, it's gone. Now let's try. I'm going to go over to the desktop. And I'm going to click on that file. And now what happens when I hit delete? It's a little bit different. It says delete file up here. But now it says, are you sure you want to move this to the recycling bin? This is important. I don't know how many times I've gotten you know, burned by this. I'm thinking, oh yeah, it just goes to the recycling bin. And then I accidentally delete something from my jump drive. The computer itself, the hard drive, C drive, is much more polite. It sends it to the recycling bin. All right, now I want to go back over and talk about a very important selection trick. This selection trick, we're going to use it in every application, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Windows Explorer. Let's say I want to highlight all of these and copy and paste them to the desktop. Well, how do I do that? I don't want to use my drag trick. Now, that's OK here. And you can do that if you want. Even I do that. But when you get over to Excel and Word and PowerPoint and you need to highlight 
a bunch of slides in PowerPoint or a bunch of cells in Excel or a bunch of paragraphs in Word. This, this trick doesn't work so well, so no problem. Here's the trick. You select the first one, and before clicking the last one, you hold Shift. So I hold Shift, and boom, everything, the two bookends and everything in between. Now I'm going to Control-C. I'm going to click on the desktop and Control-V. And just like that, I've copied them all. Now let's go back on to our Word folder. Uh, an even more important trick is the ability to select items not next to each other. Now. If you have an email account and you get tons of spam, it's really handy to know how to highlight things not next to each other. And the word for not next to each other is non-contiguous. I've highlighted non-contiguous files. In Excel, we'll highlight non-contiguous cells. All right, how did I do that? You select the first one, and instead of Shift, you use Control. And I'm going to click 5 and 3. Now I'm going to copy. If I was an email and that was email, you know, junk email, I'd hit Delete. Right now I'm going to come down to my iPod, uh, my other jump drive, and then I'm going to Control-V. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to copy and replace? I already had that one there. In this case, I'm going to say copy and replace. If you didn't want to copy, it, uh, no file change, leave the file. Um, you could also choose, meaning it wouldn't replace it, it wouldn't copy. This one's nice, it'll add an extra two, meaning it'll leave the original file and add a two. I'm going to say this one, I want to copy and replace. All right, so we saw, if I go back over to my Word files, Wrong one. I'm actually going to close this arrow, this triangle. This is from yesterday, and click on Word. So click, Shift, click, highlights everything in between. Hold, uh, click on one, hold Control, and select things not next to each other called non-contiguous. Now we need to talk about a couple more things. One is sometimes we can drag. Now I want to show you what a drag this is. No, just kidding. Uh, we can click and drag, but notice if I were to do that right now, I'm going from the Word folder to some other place on this drive. The other option is to go from the Word, which is right here, down to another drive. Now, it does two different things. Now, that's why this is why I usually just use Control C, Control X, Control V. I don't, I get confused when I go. Um, dragging. If you drag, and let's try it, dragging on the same drive from here to here will move it. It went away. It's no longer in Word. Now it's in Lexar. I'm going to move it back. I'm dragging from the Lexar E down to Word. It's gone from Lexar. Now it's oh, back in the Word. But watch this. If you, this is from some location to another location on the same drive. Now, watch what happens when I copy it. I'm dragging, and I'm dragging it from the Lexar E to the Gel iPod H. It does not, well, now it's going to ask me that message, uh, copy and replace. I'm going to pick a different file, and I'm going to do two, just to illustrate, because I don't want to get that pop-up. I'm dragging it from my Word on Lexar E to a different drive. It's going to copy it. It's no, it's not, um, sorry, this one is still there. It didn't move it. But when I look on Jell's iPod here, sure enough, there it is. So it does two different things. When you drag from one location to another on the same drive, it moves. From one drive to another, it copies. That's basically why I never <laughs> use that. I use Control C, Control V. Uh, and Control X. Now I want to talk about compressing a folder. I'm going to click on Lexar E. Now compressing a folder, we know that Business 216 Day 2 has a bunch of stuff in it. For example, if I were going to send an email and I want to send all these files, I don't want to have to attach each one individually. So we can simply compress a folder that has many files in it and upload just the compressed folder. So let's try it. I'm going to come over and select the Lexar E. And how do I compress it? That's the folder with a bunch of stuff in it that I want to be able to attach to an email. I'm going to right click, 
send to compressed zip folder. Whoop, when I click that, it immediately took all those files and compressed them and actually made it a smaller size. When I hit Enter, it says .zip. Now, you can simply upload this to a link or attach it to an email. This you could not attach because it's a folder with many things. But this is considered a single zipped object, and you can attach it. Now, to unzip it on the other side, you right click and extract all. Now, one last thing I would like to uh, show you. I'm going to click on my Excel. I had this open already. I'm going to go ahead and close it. So you don't have it open. I'm going to open up an Excel workbook. I'm immediately going to hit Enter to accept that blank default. I'm going to immediately hit F12. I'm going to save this. I'm going to give it a name in a second day Excel file. And I'm that's the name. That's what do you want to call it. Where do you want to save it? I'm going to click Lexre, Business 216, and then Excel. Where do you want to save it? The Excel folder. What do you want to call it? My second day Excel file. And I'm going to change the extension to .xlsm just for kick. So we one, two, three, the three parts of Save As. And I'm going to click Save. All right. Now I'm going to open up a Word file. Go back to Windows Explorer. Notice I'm using my mouse and clicking on different things here. In just a moment, I'm going to show you a keyboard to jump back and forth. All right, so I'm going to go to my Word folder, and I'm going to open up this file. Double click and open it. I'm using Windows Explorer to open it. Now, down here on the taskbar, you can see Excel, Word, Excel, Word. Lots of times, we are working back and forth between two files or between an internet site and an Excel file or something. The keyboard to jump, and I better resize this. The keyboard to jump back and forth is Alt-Tab. Just Alt-Tab real quick. Jump. Oh, look. Jumping back and forth. Down here, when I do Alt-Tab, you can see one turns white and then the next one. That means it's changing the active window. Now, I'm doing that quick, and that's awesome. There are other. You can use Window-Tab, too. But Alt-Tab is what you use when you're going back and forth, working between two files. Now, in this class, we will do this many times. Let's just uh, try some. I'm going to double click. Whoa, I double clicked a word, Control-C, Alt-Tab, Control-V. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to Alt-Tab. I'm going to select a different word. Double click that word, Control C, Alt Tab. Now, how am I doing that? I'm holding Alt and then tapping Tab. Now, notice I have many windows open, so we can extend this trick one further. Back and forth, you just Alt Tab real quick. But now I'm going to hold Alt and I'm tapping. The, the Alt key is still selected. I'm pushing it down and I'm just tapping the Tab key. What is so cool about this is now I can choose where to stop. I'm going to choose to stop in Windows Explorer. Now I'm going to Alt-Tab and choose to stop in Excel. Now I'm going to Alt-Tab and Tab, 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 Tab. tab. Oh, let's say I want to go to Word. So Alt-Tab to jump back and forth. Now if I Alt-Tab back and forth, I'm going between the last two. All right. So that was a lot about Windows Explorer. I'm going to Alt-Tab, go back to Windows Explorer. We saw how to create folders, rename folders and files, copy, paste, move. We saw a great selection trick, Control. We saw the great selection trick, Shift. We saw how to back up some files and folders. We even talked about dragging in Windows Explorer. All right, we'll see you next video.